rationale for taking aspirin in the first place? How is aspirin useful? For many of us, we know aspirin as an anti-inflammatory drug. It's taken as a painkiller when you have a headache. But uh, how does it work in uh, preventing heart attacks? Well, aspirin is a blood thinner. It's an anti-inflammatory agent. And what we know is that when you have a heart attack, when there is a plaque rupture in the coronary arteries, there's an inflammation process that goes on. And that inflammation process leads to production of cytokines and for blood clots to form. So aspirin prevents that. It actually, as I say, is anti-inflammatory, so it uh, reduces the inflammation response and it's also blood thinner and prevents the propagation of uh, clot from forming. So that's why during a heart attack, one of the key treatments that we use is actually uh, aspirin therapy. So patients are given aspirin during a heart attack, patients are given aspirin as well when they have a coronary stent inserted during an angioplasty procedure as well. So for conditions such as heart attacks, strokes, patients with coronary artery disease, benefits of taking long-term aspirin therapy is well proven. The use of aspirin in primary prevention in taking in healthy young individuals on the other hand is a little bit more controversial. So, what is the role of aspirin therapy in primary prevention? This means, that what is the role of aspirin in preventing heart disease in people or healthy people with no heart disease before? The evidence for this is somewhat controversial. Certainly, aspirin has been shown to be beneficial in patients who already have proven heart disease, i.e. for secondary prevention. It does reduce the risk of a second heart attack or stroke by 30%. However, if you've not had a heart condition, there are theoretical advantages for why aspirin may be beneficial, but the data for that conflicting. In the past, we often thought that taking a little aspirin, a baby aspirin once a day, will reduce your risk of heart attacks. And there is certainly a lot of evidence to suggest that taking aspirin does help in reducing your cardiovascular risk. But, however, taking aspirin long-term when your risk profile is low may be only associated with a very small reduction in cardiovascular risk but a much greater increase in long-term bleeding complications associated with aspirin. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you do, please don't forget to like, share and comment. Thank you.